I'm not going to say to you that the Elgato low profile wave microphone arm is necessarily better for you, but for me it is better that the Rode PSA1 and here is why. First I'm going to say that the Rode PSA1 is maybe one of the best microphone arms on the market. The reasons that I uh, decided to change away from the Rode arm is mainly because of aesthetics and the way I want to mount my arm. I have used the PSA1 for years and I have owned three of them. It has never given me any problems until this point. And let me go over the pros and the cons for the Rode PSA1 and then afterwards for the Elgato Wave low profile mic arm. So for the pros of the Rode PSA1. The arm is very strong and it's really reliable sturdy build. I had three of those for my podcast studio and they got swiveled around both for guests and for us the hosts at the studio. And also they are really easy to adjust with a simple screwdriver. You can easily carry the Shure SM7B which is one of the heavier end microphones. They could easily carry my Shure SM58 or my Rode NT-USB and I also adjusted them to be used with a light shotgun microphone. Some people are even using them to have camera mounted on top and even the heavier full frame cameras. This arm is fully capable of supporting everything you want to mount on it. The cons is, and this is very subjective, but compared to the Elgato arms and maybe the blue arm, I think the design is really outdated. It looks like an old lamp arm. And number two, this is what really made me buy the Elgato low profile arm. If you sit up against the wall like I do and like most people do, then it will easily like bang up against the wall and make dents in the wall. Even though I have seven centimeters of clearance, this was still a problem for me and then there's the problem with the mount on the, on the top these two screws on either end on the on the arm makes it actually quite hard for the uh, microphone like the Shure SM7B to swivel around. I know that many people just mount it in a way so that's not a problem but the way I wanted mine mounted it was not a actually it was impossible to mount the Shure SM7B without an extension on it. And then there's the pro and cons of for the Elgato low profile mic arm. The pros is it has built in cable management. So if you see here, this has a magnetic tray. I can just take these on and off and I can put in my cables for my microphone. And also you don't need a screwdriver to adjust it. It has just has thumb screws. And for me, I think it fits better with the Shure SM7B, but I know that's not a problem for many creators that use Shure SM7B with the Rode PSA1 R. And the, then there's the con, which is quite a big con actually. The strength of the the, the mount on the arms, like when you adjust it. The tension and the spring load is just not as tough and as strong as the Rode PSA1. I had to tighten the knob as hard as I possibly could just to hold up my Shure SM7B. And I'm not saying that I'm stronger than everyone else, but I know that some people is going to have a hard time having this arm support this microphone because I really put in all my effort to have it support this. The first morning after I installed the arm, the day after it was sacked all the way down because the tension of this, the middle part, just wasn't tightened enough. The other con is some people, uh, when they swivel around, tend to have these magnetic cable trays spring up against them. I haven't had this issue yet. Maybe I will have it in the future. This is not an issue for me, but I know it's an issue that some people are talking about. I think the main feature here is just look at it. It's just so much pr prettier than the Rode PSA1. The way it folds up into my wall and having it sit there, it's the main reason I'm going to kick the Elgato instead of the Rode. And also the Rode PSA1 is so popular, it's easy for me to sell them. And I already sold two and I'm going to sell this one as well. It's very easy to resell the Rode R. If you enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like and maybe subscribing or watch this video next where I do another comparison and review. This might also be interesting for you.